Hi everybody, happy Friday 13th. Um, this is Ashling from Positive Life and I am speaking to one of our beloved regular guests, Grania Tindall. Um, Thank you, it's lovely to be here. We're talking about the significance of Friday the 13th and why it has a reputation for being unlucky and scary and all these things. Um, I really wanted to get Grania's insight into it. So thank you so much, Grania, for joining us. It's a pleasure always to be here, Ashley. Thank you for having me. So 13, why is everyone so scared of it? <laughs> I know it's such nonsense. And you know what's so exciting as a numerologist, because I love numbers, it's, it's a wonderful day because the number 13 is all to do with empowerment. And it's usually about the divine feminine empowerment of women. And as women, we have 13 cycles uh, in our own cycle. And because that relates to 13 cycles of the moon in the lunar year. So 13, therefore, straight away has that sort of a divine feminine connotation. And it was back in 1487, there was this man called Hendrik Kramer. I'll remember his name forever. Now, Hendrik wasn't the nicest of men. He didn't particularly like women, Ashling. So I would definitely would have been burnt to the stake because I talk too much. But he wasn't into free thinking or divine energy of women. He, he didn't like it at all and he wanted to suppress it. So he gathered all these women around the, wherever he was living and he got them and he there were healers and people who connected with the midwives and so forth. And he burnt them due to the ignorance of basically of powerful women. And um, so that was where the 13 came from. It wasn't so much the divine sacred, but it was the divine hate. So that's just something I made up. And the 13, therefore, it was associated with women and the fact that women are highly intuitive. Men are too, of course, but we're talking about the divine feminine here. And then the Friday piece was a par part of that was to do with Friday is to do with the goddess Freya. She's a mighty woman. She's a woman normally seen with, you know, a powerful energy. And she's to do with feminine energy, but she's to do with fertility. And she's a Scandinavian goddess. But equally, Vendredi in French, Friday, is to do with the goddess Venus. And that is always to do with love. So between the Friday and the 13th, poor old Hendrik couldn't cope at all. So he decided to try and wipe out women, but there was not a chance that. So for ancestrally and for us as a world, as, as, as we continue to evolve, this is a day of empowerment. This is a day of the female rising. It's a day of coming into our own. And even if you're a male, it's divine. It's connecting with your divine feminine as well. So it's a really exciting day. And I, I, I understand that there's a lot of, as you say, superstition and black cats and all that type of stuff. But that's just that's rubbish. And you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a quote from Grania Tyndall, everybody. Yes. That's, it's that's rubbish. rubbish. <laughs> you, could, you could have used stronger language, so we'll allow that. I could have. I could have indeed. <laughs> indeed. Um, but it really is. It's about really, I mean, superstition itself. It's just, I mean, you, what you put your energy to, as you know, Ashton, you will draw to you. So if I believe that if I walk under a ladder, I will, something will happen. I can actually create that. And that's what empowerment is. Disempowerment is to create that fact that you will, something will happen or you'll suffer. But equally, empowerment is saying, I can walk under the ladder, but I'll be okay obviously under certain circumstances. But, and that's why 13 is a number to revere. And as women, you know, if it wasn't for women, we wouldn't have people, we wouldn't have animals, we wouldn't have the world, you know, because it's about mother earth, Gaia. So this is a time to celebrate. Absolutely. I had heard of the significance of Friday the 13th in relation to the divine feminine before. So mm -hmm. it's wonderful to get a bit of the history well, not yeah. wonderful and that involved witch burnings, but um, yes. it gives me a sense of the deeper significance of this date and actually that it's a very powerful occasion that shouldn't be dismissed as unlucky or, you, see, you know, all these, yeah. Yeah. Mm, all these yeah. things that it has been labelled as, you know. Yes. And unfortunately, it's the reason it's been labelled as that was to, you know, the, the lack when one hasn't got enough knowledge, you know, you believe what you're being told. So that was these beautiful, strong, empowered women who worked with intuition, with worked with helping others, um, you know, and this particular Hendrik 
Kramer, he was someone who didn't like to see that women could be free thinking. And that feminine energy, he tried to quash it. Now, there was many, not just Hendrick, there was many more people that that obviously would have created that fact. And I suppose for me as a numerologist, I'm always looking for seeing passions and how passions emerge. And certainly when I do a chart, as I've said before, Ashley, you know, I'm looking for passions and numbers and also historical context. And so for now, we're in 2021. This is the time for all of us to you know, be free and have free liberty and also have the ability to free think and free speech. So it's interesting. It's kind of correlating because 1487 was right in the middle of the Dark Ages. And for me as a numerologist, I believe in many ways this is the Dark Age because we're going to go into the Renaissance, just like would have happened back then 600 years ago. So therefore, when we empower ourselves, be as a man or a woman, but particularly talking about women, it's about really coming into your own recognizing that you you've got the power there's a song going through my head there um so it's about that and it's about the ability to have the choice to free think and free speech so there's my lecture for today ashley <laughs> thank you for coming to Grania's ted talk <laughs> <laughs> oh yes i could talk quite a lot about this <laughs> yes yes it yes it strikes me that friday 13th is a really powerful day for intention setting and considering maybe what do you wish to speak about or express and how you can channel your power even in a world that isn't always accepting of that um would you agree oh, i would very much agree and the number four which is 13 added together one and three is about the heart so it's about the giving and it's about the receiving so it's very much about the heart center so for today for all your lovely viewers and listeners is to come from your heart speak from your heart, love from your heart, and also receive that. So for all the women and men li listening to this uh, and watching this, it's to really recognize that you are here as a volunteer to be here at this time. And so you can therefore create the life that you want. And that doesn't mean it has to be done through aggression or anger. It can actually be done through love, Ashling. And I know the ethos of positive life that I followed for years myself, is about love and healing and power and balance and today as it happens you know being the 13th day and it adds to a number eight which is exactly that it's about the balance piece it's really i feel today is about the giving and receiving so perhaps people might today tell people they love them or find the good in other people are they willing to do that ask yourself are you willing to be loved and to be loved so that's the day so it's a day of love so there might be a, a lot of population growth this time, nine months. And that's what it's about. It's about <laughs> creating the new way of being and embracing it and being a part of the change. Thank you so much, Grania. It's a pleasure. I, oh. I feel like I definitely have a better understanding of what Friday the 13th is about now. And, um... Yes. And just remember those immortal words. It's very much about being the power. And taking back your power and you know really being responsible for your life and for the giving and receiving of love that's what i believe it is thank you grania it's always a pleasure Let's to be. speak with you thank you and thank you ashley yeah i look forward to inviting you back soon and in the meantime if anyone watching would like to learn more about grania just go to her website numbersforsuccess.com thank you so thank you ashley have a great day <laughs>